हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर आज एस्थेटिक्स अब तो अक्टूबर आ गया है एंड अक्टूबर इज़ अ लवली वेदर सीजन ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स इन इंडिया विद नवरात्रा बिगिनिंग इन अ डे और टू फॉलोड अप बाय द शहरा दिवाली कार्ड पार्टीज वी ऑल रियली नीड टू लुक गुड एंड वी मे नॉट हैव टू मच ऑफ टाइम इन हैंड टू लुक गुड सो टूडेज डिस्कशन इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट समथिंग विच इज़ इंस्टेंटली विच विल मेक अस लुक गुड इंस्टेंटली and uh, is getting very much of popularity day by day what i'm talking about is is fillers fillers uh, gives us instant result and uh, just give us take away that uh, tired look from our faces instantly what i'm going to discuss about you today are the various kind of fillers that we have and uh, which type of fillers would best suit the respective areas on the face so in nutshell we are talking about the fillers on the face today before i move further i think i would also like to make you understand here that botox and fillers are two different things botox is absolutely different in its function in a way that it helps us to it primarily weakens the muscles which help us in you know lesser visibility of the wrinkles or or the fine lines that we have on the face and fillers as the name suggests is primarily meant for filling up the hollowness on the face on the areas which which look hollow and as a result uh, give us a tired look or make us look a little aged the fillers are a little also different in the sense that uh, botox results take some time to show up some uh, sometimes up to 2 weeks but that's not the case well as with fillers fillers results can be instantly seen in 12 to 24 hours when i say 12 to 24 hours i mean that all the bruising and the swelling will just vanish away in 24 hours and you'll be ready for the party now starting from the topmost area of our face which is a temple uh, temple area we do not recommend uh, fillers and we recommend botox uh, because of the properties that botox show and uh, as you know which i probably didn't tell you that all the fillers that i'm going to be discussing today are hyaluronic uh, acid based fillers the the basic reason why these kind of fillers are used is that the results are instant long lasting and the result can also be altered they it has an antidote as a result of it in case you do not like you know it can be altered so the that is the best part of hyaluronic acid fillers now temple is uh, hyaluronic acid uh, there is a high risk that it may get into a blood vessel which has serious risk factors associated with it so temple is the area where you should be going for botox and not for fillers however if somebody is very keen on fillers then uvidum uh, ultra plus is recommended uvidum ultra plus or restylin l does the wonders for this area but uh, our own suggestion at dr rao aesthetics we avoid doing that and we would rather prefer doing prp here which is i would not say is an alternative to the fillers but uh, it really does a good job and uh, may be able to handle the concern that you have for the temple area now coming below the temple is the tear trough or under eye hollowing which is a very very common problem most of us face it with the age under eye hollowing is just like makes us look so tired and we really need to get it corrected and with this festive season with our new dresses i know that most of us have this concern so for this uh, this kind of problems you need to use restylin l or proline l the benefits of the these fillers is that they they do not take away the moisture from under the skin they they are very friendly by i mean another way i can say is they are very friendly to keep the moisture content uh, in the skin under the eye also they do not cause any lumpiness under the eye they get very uniformly distributed so that is uh, if you want to go for under eye fillers you should choose restylin l or proline l they are very very good fillers down below next part where fillers are gaining popularity is cheek now cheek fillers are supposed to increase volume to the cheeks if you're not going for cheek implants and if you're looking for a temporary solution you want to see how it is going to suit you then uh, 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 here this uh, market in the market we have a new filler by the name of sculptra 
This is the only filler I am going to recommend here which is not a hyaluronic acid based filler but a polylactic acid based filler but the results are very good. It is, it is a filler which is primarily you know made to tackle the problem of volume. Results are very lasting. Results last up to two years in this case. So if this is your concern I would say you can go for uh, Sculptra. Alternatively you can choose uh, you can choose Juvederm Voluma as the name suggests it also helps in adding volume however the Sculptra results are the best in the market as of now only only thing that might deter you from using Sculptra is the price it is uh, comparatively little expensive than the Juvederm Voluma now coming lower down the cheeks another area of concern and which is which is the most common concern and which we get a lot of requests for is the nasolabial fold